How anti-Muslim pop songs are fueling violence in India. Recently, anti-Muslim songs filled with hateful lyrics are, being, are becoming a centerpiece of nationalist rallies and meetings in India. Earlier this year, a Hindu priest paraded near a mosque in Uttar Pradesh while blasting anti-Muslim songs and calling for the sexual assault of Muslim women. And we talked about that story. Um, in April 2021, during the celebration of the birth of Lord Rama, these songs can be heard blasting from loudspeakers, followed by violent Muslim versus Hindu street clashes. Uh, uh, Haidayatullah oh, Hay Mansuri, a mosque official, said, quote, these songs make open calls for our murder and no one is making them stop. The increasingly popular anti-Muslim songs are being called saffron pop. Prem Krishnavanshi, a so-called saffron pop singer, has songs calling for the end of Muslim Hindu brotherhood. In one of his songs, he accused Muslims of being anti-national and said that they should move to Pakistan. He defended himself by saying, my, Muslim, my music signifies truth, and if someone thinks that's Islamophobic, I can't stop them from feeling that way. I wish it was Islamophobic. I would be supporting it if it was Islamophobic. It's what Muslimophobic. I mean, like, I, I mean, if it was attacking, if, if, the, if they, if you write songs and attack Islam, I will endorse it. I would, you know, I would like, I was, I would advertise it. Okay. But you're like, oh, if you, if uh, they say it's Islamophobic, but I don't care. No, it's not Islamophobic. Okay. We do Islamophobia. Okay. We proudly do Islamophobia. You're doing anti-Muslim bigotry. Okay. You're attacking Muslims. Okay. And also people in the live chat are saying, well, they like, I don't know. Some people are saying, well, this was in response to uh, Muslims doing anti-Hindu songs. Okay. Well, I mean, um, that's bad. Like as well. We don't support don't that know. either. We don't support it either. Why don't you, how about you both get together and do music against each other's religion? That would be, that would be based. Okay. You know, do songs attacking Islam. I still think it would cause a lot of problems. I know. In I know. theory, but if they had the yeah, if they in had reality, the capacity, that would still cause a lot of violence. If they had the capacity to just accept critic, like to to just like respond with criticism, with criticism, then it would be a beautiful dance off. You could do dance off against each other, right? You saying like you do raps against their religion, and they will do raps with against, against your religion. Unfortunately, you can't do that. You don't. You're, you don't seem to be capable of doing that. So you have to collectively attack an entire groups of people. So there's that. I mean, go to Pakistan. Pakistan, like, Pakistan used to be India. I mean, these people Pakistan live there. Pakistan is all one of the life. worst places to be a Muslim. True. I, that's also true. I mean, that's Pakistan, objectively think, true. <laughs> I mean, Pakistan is uh, one of those places to be, the, uh, the, is the worst place to be anything. <laughs> I'm not, not just a Muslim. It just sucks to be in Pakistan. Um, but go to Pakistan. Like, I mean, this is their land. They, they live their, their entire lives. Like, and they, they're, they're Indian citizens. Um, no, no, partition was a mistake. The partition was a mistake. Always a mistake. Anyways, what, I do think, you want to yeah, add anything? Partition was one of the greatest mistakes of human history. Yeah. Oh but anyways, God. do you want to read some of um, the comments? Yeah, so I thought that this was really interesting. I saw a profile that kind of dug into... Wait, wait. This is good. Read this one. <laughs> Secular radio is saying best dance equals best religion. Seems like that's the way to settle it for me. <laughs> that's what we should do. We should get Jews, Hindus, Muslims, and Christians together, and there will be two competitions. One, they dance against each other, and the best dancers win. Okay, that's the true religion. And they also cook. We have like an Iron Chef contest, okay? And they cook. Who has the best food, okay? And the people with the best food, their religion also wins. I don't know what happens Ooh. if the... Yes. We should do that if we normalize Hindus that are going to then... be there that's going to be some stiff competition because yes, indians yes. can freaking dance like true okay what like, yeah who, true who, who's like oh yeah the catholics can they bring it to the dance floor like no one says I that mean, okay <laughs> okay but the but the muslims would use like the pakistani because the pakistani dancers are basically they have the same dancers kind of right they come from the same cultural background so they could just use their Urdu brothers and sisters to win dance competition, to be able to challenge them in the dance competition, right? <laughs> if we could just replace wars with dancing and eating comp and cooking competitions, wouldn't that solve everything? Yeah, I solve 
I solve the world. I solve all the world problems. Armin's ideas of how to solve these problems are always like the craziest things ever. You know what? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> the cook, the cooking, the cooking competition could become violent. You know why? Because like, imagine all the, all everybody has their food, okay? And then the Muslims come with the dishes, and they're like ready to reveal it, and they look dead in the eyes of the Hindus, and like. We're serving beef today, right? And they're like, ah, everybody takes out their knives. I think the cooking might actually turn, <laughs> turn violent. Well, no, actually, the Hindus could do that with pork. Anyways, I don't know. Yeah. Well, and then there could be Muslims and Jews arguing over who creates the best hummus. Hummus, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's also a major sen the source of contention. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so back to this story. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought this was a really interesting um, like profile that I read digging into kind of the rise of this saffron pop because when there was all this violence that happened in April during Ram Navami, um, a lot of what precipitated the violence were the playing of these anti-Muslim songs. And as someone who, you know, I don't speak any Indian language, I'm, I have zero level of proficiency. So I, I, it's not accessible for me to understand like what is some of this rhetoric or that's being used. And so to see this profile and actually have these songs translated and broken down so that I could understand like what some of the issues is, was really helpful to me. Um, I thought it was also really interesting because the, um, some of these it's it's so explicitly like part of the fringe that's becoming more normalized so one of the very famous saffron pop guys is seen in videos with yati narsinganand he's the guy who openly called for genocide against muslims so he's you know there like supporting that guy like you know it's obviously a very big cameo to have him in his music video um and then what the other thing that I thought was interesting when I saw some analysis of this is that there were academics who were saying, you know, typically the pattern of violence in India is a bit more predictable, where there'll be a rally, there'll be inciting rhetoric and or hate speech. And this hate speech will spill out from the rally and onto the street, and then it'll start a violence, and then it'll start intercommunal violence or kerfuffles. But what's difficult about this is that this is making that less predictable because anyone can go and in, into a crowd or an occasion maybe like yeah a street procession and start playing this music and then it becomes an in, in, inciting instance because that sort of rhetoric suddenly becomes accessible to everyone it's on everyone's phone and um that really put into context for me a lot of what was seen during Ram Navami when there was the open wielding of swords in the street in front of mosques, um, which devolved into stone pelting on both sides. Um, yeah, it, and they're also hugely popular, like shockingly popular. Um, and the the rhetoric that is in this these songs are it's shocking to me, really, really shocking. Um, so there were some comments that I want to get to forever. Stormy is saying this has been going on for a long time within Hindutva groups. It's only now that they're brazen enough to play them in public. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. And that kind of feeds into what I was saying earlier. <laughs> and, um, Sheikh V his opinion is he's saying anti-Hindu songs are not blasted in front of temples. Also anti-Hindu songs are from Pakistan and not from Indian Muslims. Um, Engage an American is saying this is why you need communist heart. <laughs> this is why you need communist harmony committees to pre-approve all art. <laughs> oh wow, that's a good. That's a good. I reaction. feel that might be a that might be a more peaceful a solution joke. than it's an Armin solution. It's a joke, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Armin, do you have any reactions to this? No, no, no. Um, we should get, oh yeah, this one actually read this one. while I get Yeah. So news. final thing is Nanda is saying you missed this news about, um, this Muslim who was arrested for supporting Nupur on Twitter. We're actually going to be talking about that next week. Um, because I had already chosen the lineup of news for this week when that happened. So we, we are going to be talking about that soon. Um, what happened with, um, on sorry. Um, yeah. So. That is not, I, I know that is not, that has not fallen off my radar. I'm on top of it. 
Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.